Tuesday, 9.47 a.m. Hi, baby. I'm, baby, you have to listen to me carefully. I'm on a plane that's been hijacked. I'm on the plane. I'm calling from the plane. I want to tell you I love you. Please tell my children that I love them very much. And I'm so sorry, babe. Um, I don't know what to say. There's three guys. They've hijacked the plane. I'm trying to be calm. We're turned around. And I've heard that there's planes that's been, been thrown into the World Trade Center. I hope to be able to see your face again, baby. I love you. Bye. Pretty quickly, within a few minutes of the hijacking, passengers and crew have been forced to the back of the plane start to make phone calls. And they're able to reach loved ones, authorities, and they come to some kind of realization that they're most likely part of this larger attack, that this is not going to be like hijackings had been before, that they were going to be used as a weapon as well. And they say that they took a vote as a group. At approximately 9.57, they put their plan into action. Now, we don't know whether the passengers and crew were able to make it into the cockpit or not, but what we do know is that this plane did not reach its target. Upon arriving on scene, it was pretty chaotic. Just a lot of people um, sort of just walking around with blank looks on their face. I think I knew immediately as soon as I saw Chief King's face that there was nothing to be done there that day for us, that um, everybody that was on board that plane had perished that day. Well, with all of the, the three ships, the USS Arlington, the USS New York, the USS Somerset, they all contain um, steel that comes from the three sites. Well, I would hope that the sailors on board this ship would think of, that, the, of the courage and just always remember that the ship that they're sailing is named after the people on that plane and that when things get going tough, Hopefully they'll be able to step up, remember those people, and whatever the job is that needs to be done, they'll be able to carry that duty out and keep in the back of their minds the folks that put forward the ultimate sacrifice that happened here on 9-11. We definitely do persevere and we do push no matter what, just like those on Flight 93 did. And uh, they didn't falter, they didn't, they didn't just let someone take over, they fought back and that's pretty much what we do. Courage, courage through adversity. Everyone here should carry the spirits of those people who lost their lives that day. And uh, everyone remembers what happened all day, every day.